Is your smartphone practicing good hygiene? Interesting question, right? Before I give you the tip of the day, let me give you the backstory on this one. So this morning I went to the grocery store very early before work, wanted to get my shopping in like everyone else that time of the week. Um, and like most of you, I'm sure, wearing gloves and a mask. And I wanna focus for a moment though on the gloves. What I found really interesting was how many people who are wearing gloves, touching the cart, touching the merchandise, which I'm sure other people have touched, even though I'm sure the store is sanitizing things, are also touching their smartphone. And I thought, you're putting this up to your face in some cases when they're talking, and other times they're um, just returning it to their pocket. And I couldn't help but wondering if they're somehow sanitizing their phone once they leave, because after all, those gloves have now touched everything. So my the tip of the day is very simple today. Please sanitize your phone. Um, whether you're in the grocery store wearing gloves or whether you're eating food and you know, you're on, listen, as I, I mentioned in a blog post earlier this week, which I'm gonna ask you know, for you to check out, we're gonna put a link to it right up here, but it's important that when you're working on your technology at home or in the office, whether it's your mouse, your screen, your key, keyboard, um, whether it's the casing on your laptop, many of us have food particles, we might have, you know, from drinking coffee or something else, residue from that on our devices. But especially these smartphones, because again, they just attract germs in general, like a magnet. And most especially, we have to be worried about that during COVID-19. So my tip to you today is simple, sanitize your smartphone. If you don't know how to do it, or you need help with that or suggestions, as always, drop us a line, website, phone number right there. Be well, stay safe. God bless you and your family. We'll talk to you again tomorrow.